Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would start filming my week in outfits. It's been a little while since I did one of these so I figured this was a good week to get started. We've had family staying with our bathroom renovation. It was just really difficult to kind of figure it out and we've also changed the configuration of our lounge so uh, it's been a little bit of a mess. Uh, today is Monday and I've had a pretty productive start to the day. I've had a meeting, I've gone and taken some photos, I've gotten some other work done. It's just a bit before midday so I feel like I'm having a pretty good run so far. I've got a lot of work to get through this afternoon so I'm gonna buckle down and get onto that after this and then probably make myself some lunch pretty soon. Uh, so I will run you through my outfit starting with accessories. So the earrings that I am wearing these are from Majuri and I always forget what they're called. They're the link earrings or the trio earrings or something like that. They have a little post that sticks through your ear and I love the way that these look. They're quite thick. Then I do have a necklace on. It just seems to have slipped behind my sweater. So the necklace that I'm wearing is from a brand called YCL Jewels and it is just a little uh, queen medallion style necklace with the little medallions the whole way around. I really like it. It's a little bit of fun. So I'm wearing my Majuri dome ring which I love. It's quite big and thick and sort of makes a bit of a statement. And then I've also got my linear petite watch on. Then for my outfit I am wearing this uh, white cotton sweatshirt from Everlane. Now I did feature this in a haul and I got a couple of questions about whether or not it was sheer and yes it is slightly sheer just a little bit. Uh, it's not fully opaque so I would wear a nude bra underneath it but I love how comfortable it is and it's sort of got a bit of a shrunken fit. I do have this in the grey as well and I kind of wear both of them equally. Then onto the trousers and these are the Zara ankle trousers which I've been wearing to death. I really love these. They're a thick crepe fabric which has been perfect for the sort of transitional weather we've had lately and these have a really interesting sort of pin tuck detail at the waist. I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show you on the video but I will drop them in the description box so you can properly check them out. On my feet I'm wearing my Everlane Boss loafers and I kind of think of these as my Aladdin loafers. They have that sort of look to them. They're pretty comfortable. They have that pebbled leather. I have done a full review on them and I did size up. I'm wearing a US 10 when I'm usually a nine and a half in Everlane shoes but I think they look pretty cool on like quite a nice little dressed up flat so that's sort of a glimpse at the whole outfit. I've been wearing a lot of monochrome lately. And then for my bag I'm just wearing my Linya sling bag. This is in the chestnut color and it's actually quite a nice sort of casual I guess alternative to my Celine Trotter bag. So yeah there you have it full outfit today. Hello guys and happy Tuesday. Uh, it's around 11 o'clock now and I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing today. It is quite warm in Sydney for a change. We're slowly getting into that more spring summer weather. It's 25 degrees so I've gone for a little sundress and some sandals which I thought were very fitting for today. Our house gets really hot during the day too so I might leave the back door open just to get in a little bit of a draft. Uh, accessories wise I am wearing these really beautiful hoop earrings from Stone and Strand so they have these little stars on the hoops and I just love that detail. I'm all about small details and even though they're quite big hoops I don't really think they feel it I think because they're so dainty. Then my necklace is just my little Majuri Zodiac necklace. This is probably my most worn necklace and I love throwing it on I just think it goes with everything. Now I'm wearing my linear watch as usual. This is kind of my go-to everyday watch. I love the black strap with the petite. I just think it works really well and it's just so classic. Then for my outfit, now this is very girly and probably a little bit different for what you guys are used to seeing me wearing, but I've got this very cute off the shoulder polka dot dress. So there's a little cotton dress and it's got this frill detail around the bust and I got this from ASOS. I actually picked this up a while ago so I'm not sure if it's still available but if it is I will drop it in the description box below but it's just a nice little mini and something I think I can see myself wearing a lot throughout the summer. On my feet I'm wearing my ATP Atelier sandals. Sorry about the noise outside. <laughs> uh, I adore these. I picked them up during the knit porte sale and I'm so glad that I did. I'd had them on my wish list for probably a good 12 months before I finally bit the bullet. And they are super comfortable. I like the fact that they've got the adjustable buckles both, acro both across the foot and at the ankle. So it means that you can kind of adjust them to the width of your foot and also your ankle. Uh, and then they have a really nice sturdy block heel. 
I can just crouch down to show you. So very, very good for walking around in. And I think they work pretty well with my outfit. For my bag, I'm just going with my Chanel uh, Chevron boy bag, which I've not really worn for a while and I'm starting to pull it out a little bit again. So there you have it. That is my full outfit today. Morning guys, so today is Wednesday. Uh, I've just been getting through some work. I had a conference call which I've now wrapped up and I'm thinking about heading out to the shops because I wanna pick up some stuff for dinner tonight. And there's also a bulk food store in Zetland that I've been meaning to go to. I think it's called The Source Bulk Foods maybe. I might drop it in the description box below, but they have lots of vegan treats and stuff like that. You guys know I'm lactose intolerant, so uh, I still eat chocolate every now and then, and I will still eat the odd little bit of cheese, but uh, really, I shouldn't be eating it. Uh, I've gone for a really simple outfit. It's about 25 degrees today, so it's going to be pretty warm, and I'm probably going to regret my decision later, but, you know, we'll see how we go. Uh, I'm not really wearing much jewellery. I've just got on my little necklace from... Majuri, which is my zodiac necklace. So I love this and I wear it quite a lot. I'm really sorry if you can hear Rocky That's our neighbor's dog and he barks quite frequently But I'm just gonna get through this because otherwise um, I'm probably gonna be waiting a while So my t-shirt is one of the Uniqlo U thick cotton tees and I wasn't really sure that I loved this after buying it But actually it's really great. I like the kind of close-cut fit of it and like I said It's more of a heavyweight cotton. So it's got a lot more structure than some of the other t-shirts that I have My trousers are my Zara gingham trousers these are a really beautiful linen they feel really nice and soft and they actually don't crease up too much they are belted at the waist and they've got pockets they don't have any pockets on the bum which i actually think would make them more flattering but you know i still like them actually let me try and give you a close-up of the uh gingham i think it's really cool it's sort of a micro gingham the shoes that I'm wearing are my Everlane Editor Slingback Flats and I have to say the elastic on the back of these has stretched out quite a bit, particularly on my left foot so I can slip my foot out of them quite easily. So it means that yes, when I'm walking occasionally they slip off my heel, which is not ideal but I'm still persisting. I really love the look of these shoes. I think they're really chic. Uh, just keep that in mind if you do buy these that they will loosen over time. For my bag, I've just gone for my Chanel Chevron boy bag. You can see Nigel in the background over there being good boy on his mat. So here we go. This is a full look at the outfit today. Like I said, probably going to regret wearing trousers, but I don't know. I feel really comfortable at the moment. And I like the fact that they're quite loose, so they're very airy feeling. It's Thursday today, it's about 9 o'clock now. I've spent my morning getting my latest video live and also my blog post. Uh, one of the things that I try and do whenever I'm posting on YouTube and on my blog, I like to try and get it done before 9 a.m. So I'm still a bit of an early bird. I kind of start work around 7, 7.30, but it's good because it gives me the flexibility to be able to spend my day doing client work or um, other projects, or also if I've got an event or something like that, I don't need to worry or stress too much about not getting everything done. Now, it's a really hot day today. It's gonna to be 30 degrees, so kind of summer weather in a way, although I think I saw it's gonna be 37 tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna be wearing denim shorts then, for sure. So I've gone for something really, really comfortable. It's actually also my grandparents' wedding anniversary today, so I think I'm gonna give them a call a little bit later on to wish them happy anniversary. Uh, they've been married for, I was just figuring it out before, I think almost 70 years, so that is massive. Uh, so let me talk you through my outfit. For my earrings, I'm wearing these little hoots from Stone and Strand again. I've been reaching for them quite a lot. They're really easy to just throw on and they kind of go with everything. On my wrist, I'm wearing my Linear Petite watch. I've changed the strap out and this is the mesh strap, which I think looks really cool. It sort of has a little bit of a rose tint to it, but I really like the effect. My ring is my Majuri Dome ring, which I tend to wear quite frequently. Then for my outfit, because it's so hot, I kind of knew I just wanted to go for a simple sundress. So this one is from Portman's and it is a mega dupe for the Isabel Morant dress. I might maybe pop a picture up on the screen here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But it has these lovely little ruffle sleeves. 
and then it's got this tie crossover wrap detail at the front with a ruffle hemline as well and the back is just plain and I really love it it's so easy to throw on it's just very chic and I feel really comfortable in it I think you can dress it up and down as well so that's the dress that I'm wearing today on my feet are my St. Agni sandals. I picked these up during the sale and they are so comfortable. Didn't get a single blister. I wore these walking around one day and found them really, really comfortable to wear. I will say that because the sole is kind of a wooden, it is very hard. So you might get a little bit of pressure on, um, what is it, the, the bit in between your heel and the pad of your foot. So, uh, sorry, this is really hard to show you, but just here, um, on the on underneath bit it can be a little bit of pressure there, but otherwise really comfortable These are the suede and it makes me really curious about some of their other shoes then for my bag Gone for matching accessories <laughs> my bag is my linear sling bag I think that kind of works pretty well with my outfit today, especially because it's quite relaxed So there you have it full outfit of the day hello guys, so it is now Friday and it is so hot today. It's about 35 to 37 degrees. So I feel a little bit like I'm melting. I went outside before and honestly, the sun is so hot today. It kind of just feels like it's searing your skin the moment you step into it. So that's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's always really hard to dress when the weather is like this, I feel. I'm, I'm gonna be spending most of my day indoors just to try and keep out of the heat. I don't wanna get sunburned or anything like that. Not very good for your skin. Um, and my sister is actually flying into Sydney tonight. Uh, we're going to Taylor Swift together. Funnily, I actually haven't listened to the new Taylor Swift album, so I said to her it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise for me. She was originally planning to go with another friend, um, but unfortunately she can't go. So I said I would. I'm sure it's gonna be great. I do. I did really enjoy the previous Taylor Swift album, so I'm sure I will like the show. Um, I always do love a good, you know, event like that. Let me talk you through my outfit now, though, because I've been <laughs> rambling on long enough. Um, I'm not really wearing too many accessories, and as you can see, I don't really have any makeup on either because it's so hot. I just want to let my skin breathe. I am going to do it later to go to the concert, but um, I don't really think there's any point doing it now because it's just going to kind of melt off my face. Um, I do have some really cool earrings on, and these were actually a really lovely gift from one of my girlfriends, Mel. So she's been making all of these different bits and pieces using resin. And these are the these are one of the pairs of resin earrings that she created. And I just love that sort of patchwork, marbled kind of effect. So these ones I think are called the Nudie. I'll link them in the description box below though. She started an Etsy store. So really cool. Nice to be able to support one of my girlfriends. Then for my outfit... Um, I am wearing this camel ribbed t-shirt from Inku. I did feature this in my 15 item work wardrobe video. It's an expensive tee, but I managed to get it on sale. And I really love the color of it. It's really nice and rich and warm. And it just adds something different to my wardrobe. And I like the fact that it's really fitted. And my bottom half, I am wearing my ASOS faded black denim skirt. I wear this a lot when it is hot. It's just really easy to throw on and I kind of like the contrast with the brown and the black. On my feet, I'm wearing a pair of mules. These are from Seagus and Morrison and I actually saw Army from Song of Style wearing them and I searched high and low to get my own pair. I managed snagging them off the real real and they're brand new. So they have a really cool design detail to them. I don't know if you can see that, but they've got a toe post and then they have this cutout strip that goes across the foot. So my feet are quite warm, it's so hot. Uh, so they've got an, a really interesting mirrored silver kind of bubble heel. So really love the way that those look. I don't have a bag on me at the moment. And in terms of going to the concert tonight, I know it's going to be really warm, especially with there being lots of people there. So I'm just going to swap out this tee for a ribbed black tank. Maybe I'll link the one that I'm going to wear below if you guys want to see what it looks like. So yeah, there you go. Friday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. So it is Sunday today. I didn't end up sharing my outfit yesterday. It was another hot day. It was about 30 degrees. My sister left in the afternoon and we spent most of the day out and about. So by the time I got home, it was sort of a little bit too late. The rugby was already on. So it wasn't going to be happening, but you guys didn't miss out on much. It was just simple t-shirt and denim skirt combo. 
Uh, Friday night, Taylor Swift was amazing. I have to say she is an incredible performer, even in the rain. And I was so impressed by the fact that she performed the entire concert while it was pelting down. They actually started really late. She didn't come on stage until about 10 o'clock because there was a thunderstorm. So uh, great that they ended up going ahead because there were so many parents with young kids and I think it would have been a real shame. But yeah, amazing performance. Definitely great to go see her live if you ever get the opportunity. Uh, today, um, Luke's actually outside. He's getting started working on building our deck. So that's gonna be really cool. We had a pergola out there, but it wasn't structurally very sound. So he ripped that down last weekend and then now he's starting to get to work on the building aspect of it. So that should all be done by uh, Christmas, I think, which will be nice because we are hosting this year. So I'm probably just gonna be chilling out. I might go spend some time in the sun reading. And I've also got a new PlayStation game, which I've been playing, which is called Star Ocean 3 till the end of time. It's sort of a really nostalgic one for me. Uh, so I've gone for something really comfortable and relaxed. Uh, I'm not wearing too many accessories. I've got my Majuri editor hoops in. You guys have seen these about a million times. My little diamond necklace from Majuri, which I like because it is very dainty. Then for my outfit, I'm wearing my Everlane polka dot cami. This is made out of Coupro, so it's a recycled polyester. It's really nice and comfortable. I'm wearing the US 2, which I think fits like a Australian size 8. Then the skirt that I'm wearing is a really old one. This is from Ruby and I haven't worn it in a while, but I really wanted to wear something that wasn't a denim skirt. So yeah, I like the color of it. It's sort of a bit of a yellowy khaki green. Then on my feet, I'm wearing my Joe Mercer T-bar sandals. I love these, they're so comfortable and they've got a nice little bit of height to them as well. So here's kind of a look at the full outfit today. So that was my full week in outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've filmed these, but they are gonna become more of a regular feature on my channel again. Do let me know as always which your favorite outfit was in the comments below. I love hearing what you guys think and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon, bye.